at all of this. This is a florist. Smells nice. Jewelry. We could go and have a look in here for Christmas things. Oh, I like Christmas decorations as well. Do you know what I really like is you know when someone gives you a Christmas decoration, just, just one really nice one for the year and then every year you put it on there and you're like, oh yeah, so and so gave me that. Should we have a look? Yes. Okay, let's go. So we're at the next um, gift shop and we're just gonna have a look in here because this one can be quite good as well. I really like this one as well because it does real um, silver jewelry. So it's quite nice as a, like a, a gift that's actually gonna last. You smell good. homewares in here is quite nice we've actually we got this really nice table decoration it's kind of metal and it looks like um silver like a big silver birch branch and then it's got candle holders in it that are i'll show you later it's kind of metallic -y glass and it looks like the bark of a um what's it called silver birch tree I think that's like for dips and stuff, yeah. Yeah, don't don't knock, knock stuff off. Oh, those are those room diffusers. You know, I've spoken about these before. So they're they're actual room diffusers, but they look like flowers, and you get oil with them, and you spray the oil onto the flowers. When they're new, these look quite old because they're discoloured, but when they're new they actually look and feel like real flowers. Come food shopping. It's the day before Christmas Eve and we're hoping that there's, there's going to be... People are saying that the shelves are kind of being rinsed at the moment and so hopefully they won't be. 11. Oh my god 11 11. 11 keeps following me around since March and it's freaking me out now. Oh well there is food. What's everyone on about? There is food. Everyone's everyone's like there's no food. There's food. Uh, carrots. Parsnips. Oh, do I have to have br Brussels sprouts? I don't like them, but it's Christmas, so you have to. Okay, so it's potatoes. Three bags, yep. Do we need any, like, generic food not for Christmas Day? What did you forget? My list, I made a list. Your list. Uh, onions? Okay. Um, garlic. Garlics. There is no oh, you're right. Actually, yeah, a lot of it's oh, empty. I was gonna put sage. Sage. Um, I was gonna put it in the potato. Yeah, you can get some sage. So this would all be filled with things. Oh dear.
need to do really good sushi here and I might have some for my lunch. Um, which one? This one. That's a lot of toilet roll. There's this one left. That one's got lavender smell on it and I, I don't know. There's a reason it's been left. Mm. We've got a problem. <laughs> there isn't any turkey left. What's this? Sausage? Sea bass. The slight problem is there's no turkey at all. Um, there's not even any chicken. Um, so, we don't know what we're going to do. So this year, we because we're in tier four, lockdown, we're not allowed to go and see our families. When we first got in there, I thought, oh, this is fine. What's everyone talking about? There's food. And there was there was not much left. Hey everyone, sorry I've got hair in my face. I'm gonna wrap presents with you and just chat about what our Christmas plans are because some of you may know, sorry I've still got hair in my face. Some of you may know that Things in the UK are just a bit of a mess with kind of lockdowns and stuff like that. I'm gonna to talk to you about that as I wrap. I'm not gonna show you the things that I'm wrapping. I will show you my terrible wrapping as we go along. I know some of you last year, when you watched that, my last video like this, you were like, um, your wrapping's really bad. It is. And it's gonna be even worse this year because I've bought this paper and it looks amazing but it's covered in glitter. And I tried to wrap something yesterday, as you can see by the fact that it's been cut and sellotape doesn't stick to it. First of all, to people that have written me so far, I've spent the last day and a bit of this morning responding back to you. So they're gonna be your cards. Not everyone who's written to me have I written back to you yet because I actually have a really big carrier bag kind of behind you still filled with lots of mail but after this I'm doing a really quick mail time and also for any of you who maybe found each mail time too long because I kind of I kind of feel that way myself then what I've done with these mail times is I'm only kind of reading out between say three, no, four and six cards a time. So they're kind of broken up, but it does mean that if you've written to me, you might think that your card's lost or something. It's not, it's probably in that bag. So that's how we're gonna do this. I'm going to wrap the first present. So my plan today, as I said, was to do one of those really pretty, um, I was gonna say Halloween, feels like that. One of those really pretty Christmas Eve videos and it hasn't happened. Um, so this is more reality of what my Christmas Eve has been like this year. Normally, I love Christmas Eve. Originally in the UK, um, we were all gonna be allowed uh, it sounds awful doesn't it we were all going to be allowed to see our families on christmas day but only for five days through christmas and then a um, couple of days ago if you live in tier four which is kind of london area they cancelled christmas and they said you can't see anyone until the foreseeable future that was it so tier four started uh, several days ago and um, you're not allowed to see anyone. 
but I'm just gonna wrap everything anyway until whenever we can see people. See, look, I'm really trying this year already. I've done the folded over thing. I know probably most of you will be like, yeah, well, that's not difficult. Yesterday we went food shopping. Um, initially when, so we decided to go late at night. We went to about eight o'clock in the evening because we thought, oh, should be quiet by that point. It was kind of quiet. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't really, but then it's Christmas, so why would it be? Where's the next one? Here it is. There wasn't a whole lot left, actually. Now we were so lucky with the turkey because, um, as you saw, the turkey section was empty. There were, there were, we did actually find some turkeys left. Oh, come on. This is why I hate wrapping, it's really annoying. There were some turkeys left, but they were huge. And because this year it's just gonna be David and I, we can't eat that much turkey. So we wanted to get a turkey crown, you know where it's just the top bit. And we couldn't find one, and the thing is, there was not even chicken left. And neither of us really like red meat. But yeah, we found something in the end, which was good. So our plan for tomorrow, which I'm gonna film actually, I always film it anyway, but some of you who have been with me a while know that every year, Dave and I, we go and see our families on either um, Christmas day or Boxing day. And the day that we, go and see like our parents and siblings and stuff um, depends on who's seeing their in-laws on different days kind of thing and we try and work it out so that most of us are kind of together on the one day um, but then on the other day either Christmas day or um, Boxing Day we have our own kind of Christmas together um, and I really I really enjoy David and I's Christmas day together and what we, we cut this. And what we tend to do is we we do the same thing every year. We get up, have breakfast, normally you know that panettone bread. So we've got this tradition. It's actually from my family but Every Christmas morning in my family, we'd always have that panettone bread. I don't know where it came from. Someone started doing it and then it just became a thing. And then David and I prepare Christmas dinner and then we put it in the oven and we go for you know, just like a 10 or 20 minute walk. And it's really nice and you, because the turkey takes a while and we tend to eat our Christmas dinner around four or five o'clock. And we watch kind of Christmas films, we open presents around the tree, and it's just a really fun day. I was planning on going Christmas shopping two days ago, and then the lockdown came in. And it was borderline kind of too late to order online unless you spent kind of £12 a go for faster delivery. And not everything has turned up. So there's quite a few people here whom I don't actually have a present for but then because there's no idea as to when I get to see them it might turn up before that day anyway but yeah um for example David a lot of the things that, uh, only two things that I ordered David are actually here and I I actually hope that he hasn't done what he did last year because I'll feel really bad Mail time, look how much there is here. This is crazy. It's not even just what's on this chair. There's this whole bag's full of letters, parcels that you've all sent me. I'm gonna divide this bit into three. If you're new and you don't know what mail time is, it's kind of become a thing where lots of you guys write to me. It started a few years ago and I just started reading out your letters. I love doing it. I think it's a really nice way to integrate you all into the videos. Um, some of you write to me and you don't want your letters read out, which is completely fine. So if you're thinking about writing and you think, yeah, I kind of just want to chat to you or get some advice on something, then uh, just write on your letter that you don't want it read out. Oh, the US. God, it's so sweet of you. This is from Nina. I think I can read this out. 
You guys in the States, you have this card brand, greetings card brand. And I think this is what it is. You, a few of you have sent me this brand called, um, called Papyrus. Oh, look, Hello Kitty. Oh, I love Hello Kitty. Okay, so this says, Dear Sophie, hello from Washington DC, wishing you and David and your families a very Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy new year. I'm sure we're all ready to bid 2020 a farewell and welcome in 2021. I just wanted to let you know that your videos have brought a smile, a laugh, and some sense of normality to this surreal year. So thank you again for taking a shopping with you and welcoming us into a glimpse of your life. Just because there is so much doom and gloom in the world on the TV, it doesn't mean that we have to look like bums. I really enjoy seeing how you put stylish and classic, yes, yet elegant, and effortless looks together. I also really enjoy your outings to the outlets and to Harrods, of course. And I always chuckle when you're in Chanel trying to sneak some footage, even getting David involved. I know you always say no need to get you any gifts, but when I saw Hello Kitty, I somehow think of you and I couldn't resist. So I hope that you'll accept it as a small token of gratitude for doing what you do. By the way, I don't recall being that excited to receive mail until I received your letter. Thank you for writing back, totally made my day. Oh my God, Nina, that's so sweet of you. I love that card. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is the coolest thing. I have got Hello Kitty stuff everywhere. I even have a Hello Kitty bag that one of you called Verena sent me and I just love Hello Kitty. I've just seen the next one's from Sheila. I know Sheila. This is the thing, when you write to me, I really feel like I get to know you. And I know a lot of your usernames and your pictures when you write, you know, your profile pictures. And I've got to a point where when you write, I recognize your, your like vague addresses or your names, or some of you, I, I recognize your handwriting. It's really nice. So this has come from the UK. Oh, wow. We have here two really nice notebooks, one blue and one, look at this, like iridescent gold lined. I love notebooks. They are always useful. Hello, Sophie, I hope you are well. My handwriting is atrocious and I wouldn't even dare to do a handwritten note. And yes, please, you can read this letter. This is Tolu from the YT comment section and also from Instagram. I'm not sure whether you remember me. I started watching your content back in 2016. I lived in Nigeria, West Africa at the time. I can't believe I have those of you from that far away watching. I always say this, is whenever I put out videos, I just imagine I'm still in my mind. I'm back in the days where I had a thousand subscribers and I, I was really happy with that. I've since relocated to the UK and really look forward to meeting you someday. I know my best bet would be Harrods and you've put, just kidding. No, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Just to let you know that I truly appreciate your content, especially the career, business, and more serious stuff. I've watched you over the years. And it's such a blessing that you share this stuff with us. Love that you were objective and authentic and that you've stayed true to, throughout the years. I've just started a planner line over lockdown and I thought to share some of them with you. It's an, un, it's an undated planner for anyone who wishes to manage their time more efficiently and still loves to take physical notes. As a new business, we would appreciate any form of exposure, but I like your planners, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put details of them below. Um, and I, uh, the reason why I say this is I really like these. And I think the fact that you've started this business this year is great. Um, but yeah, I get I get so much mail from companies trying to disguise themselves as um, subscriber mail. And you know, the reason why I don't like promoting is because A, if I don't like it, then I don't wanna be forced to promote it. But B, these, these subscriber mail times, I want them to be subscriber mail times. I don't want them to be kind of hidden adverts. Um, but I know your name, you've been with me for years. And because of that, I am gonna 
um, share these and there's also a 15% off coupon code. So for any of you, let me just show you the inside. For any of you who might be interested, I will put uh, Tolu's website details below for this product. So thank you so much for that. Oh, this is stuck down good. What's in here? Oh my God. I always feel so guilty. Let's read this first. No way, it's from BJ. Sophie, I hope you love this little gift. Something to put in your creative ideas. Best wishes, VJ. I know VJ. VJ has been a subscriber for ages, but I now, VJ, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I'm now at a point where I kind of semi feel like you're a friend because I see you so many times in Harrods. Oh my God, this is incredible. I feel so guilty. Honestly, I feel so guilty. Whenever, oh look. This is completely, wow, wow, wow. I feel really indebted already. Oh my God, you got me one of the notebooks. Oh God, this is the nicest thing. Uh, do you know something? Oh, look on the inside, the pages. I value you all so much. I really love the space that we've got on here. It feels, I don't know I always say it, but it feels a really relaxed place. Would you agree? It feels like a really relaxed place. And I'm, I'm not gonna name you actually, but a couple of, a couple of you, a few videos ago, one of you was going through um, a, hard, a hard time with some stuff and I wrote back to you and was talking to you about it. And then another um, one of you who I talked to a lot, you'd written back to, to the lady in question and you had actually, you were talking to her and you said, you know something, if you wanna talk to me, DM me on Instagram. And do you know something? It it brought a tear to my eye because to have a, such a lovely group of you where everyone's really respectful of each other and not only is everyone respectful of each other but we all help each other and I, I love it. I love it and I'm so grateful for it and it's also really nice I, I hope for you guys because to be able to go into the comments and to share something personal and then to have other people respond to it in a nice positive way you know trying to offer help is just so nice vj i will treasure this thank you and i'm gonna i'm actually gonna dm you after this to ask if i can share your instagram in the first place if vj has said yes then it's gonna be below I forgot to film an ending, sorry. I hope that every one of you has a great day and come and check back tomorrow because you know how David and I, we do, um, we, we film a vlog of our couple's Christmas day where we open presents and we cook uh, Christmas dinner. That I, we're doing today on Christmas day and I'm gonna edit it and we'll put it up tomorrow which will be the 26th of December so if you want to kind of hang out with us then come and check back for that but I hope you've enjoyed this as I say have a really good rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow